What is up y'all? Welcome back to Lindsay's Life. Today I am making something for Pepper the Rat and it's going to be a treat hider. So I saw some pictures of this on like Pinterest and Instagram and I thought I can definitely make a knockoff version of that. So today basically I'm just going to take some big pieces of fleece and make little pockets and pieces of fabric that he'll have to search through to find treats and that'll be a little bit of enrichment for him. So let's get started. Okay, so I have two different colors of fleece and these just came out of the fabric section at any store basically and fleece is good for rats because there's nothing in it that can really harm them. So it's good for anything that you wanna make for them. Um, so basically I'm gonna start with the blue and make it the size that I want for Pepper. And I have really debated on how big I want it to be because I saw this as a very large version for a dog. Um, but I think I'm gonna make it about half the size of this table. And that's gonna be the piece that's gonna have everything attached to it for him to search through. I also just chose to do a few colors or a couple colors because I think it'll look cute. Should I measure this to be able to cut it? Yeah, absolutely. But if you know me, I'm just obviously not gonna do that because I wing all of my projects. So it is what it is. This is who I am as a person. And this is what it's gonna be like, so. Also, if you don't have a pair of fabric scissors, get a good pair of scissors to only use on fabric if you're gonna do a lot of crafts. It's worth it to not have to struggle with your scissors. So now I have a much more manageable piece of fabric. And basically, I'm just gonna make all kinds of little pieces to attach. So there's gonna be some that are just like long strips that he can like go inside of or underneath. And there's gonna be like little triangles and little balls and basically just anything that you can hide small treats in. Um, so I'm basically just gonna cut a bunch of pieces and then lay them out and decide how I want them to look. And, um, here are some photos of like the inspiration that I used from Pinterest, but honestly you can just make whatever you want to. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do next. I need one of those little blades that just cuts to do this kind of stuff, y'all. Also, if you want to make a really good version of this, probably like measure your stuff and make sure it's all gonna be the same size. And I just really did not want to do that, y'all. I don't know what you would call these little things, but they make me think of the little pieces of the car wash that go over the car in like an automated car wash, you know? If you have a pet rat, do you have anything like this? And do they like it? Let me know in the comments. Cause I really feel like my rat, honestly, he's so loving. He'll chill with anything. But this will be exciting for him cause he loves his little treat. Listen, I have a thought in my head of what this should look like whenever I get finished, but whether or not that's what it actually is going to work like, your guess is just as good a mind to be quite honest. I have no clue. Is this a bad idea? Yeah, probably. Am I gonna try it? Absolutely, just don't. Don't worry. How many of y'all have been nervous that I'm gonna cut my finger? Because it's very possible that that's gonna happen. Do other people actually do this kind of stuff for their pets or am I the only psychopath? I just wanted to have some fun, some enrichment, something to do. You can come out and play. Was it any quicker to fold it like this? Probably not. Because now it's just making my hand hurt cutting through so much fabric at one time. Poor life decisions, I don't know what to tell you. In my mind, it made perfect sense though. Look at how cute this is gonna be. It looks like a pinata. Pinatas are fun. So now I'm basically just gonna make like some little pockets. Y'all, my squares are not even actually square. I'm gonna put some smaller pockets on top of this. Now I'm gonna try to make like some little circle, almost like pom-pom balls, which I should definitely measure and draw out. But y'all know me, so here we go. Look, that's kind of a circle. Look at that. That's not bad. Then all you gotta do is just put it on here and do it again. So basically, what these are going to be 
this and once they're sewn together they'll be like this okay maybe it'll be like this you can stuff stuff down inside of them like that we're just gonna do these kind of close together that way you don't have to search in between all the little layers so you can smell something listen I'm not really explaining what I'm doing because I have no idea Also, let me tell you what's really dangerous is cutting your fabric above what you've already placed because what if I would have just cut all these off when I was doing that? Like, I know myself. I knew better. I just didn't do better. But just so you know, I knew better. I just don't listen to my own best judgment sometimes. Also, keep in mind, nothing on this channel is a tutorial. Absolutely nothing. I still got some space to fill y'all. I'm running out of ideas. Okay, so here is my finished product. It's got these little things that he can get underneath, some little squares that ended up not being pockets just because this was simpler. These little circles that have lots of layers to put stuff in. This is just like accordion fabric, little pockets, little flaps. So I'm gonna fill this with one of Pepper's favorite things, which is chicken jerky. And I'm just going to break it up into really small pieces and hide it all throughout the whole toy. And then we're gonna go get him and see if he can find some stuff. See how smart he really is. So now let's go get Pepper. Okay, so I have Pepper and basically I'm just gonna show him where one of them is and hopefully he'll start playing with all the rest of it. He has to take a break between each one so that he can eat his snack, so. Keep looking. Look, look in here. Look in here. Look in here. It's not on me. I don't have it. Hey, good deal. Not about you. Where are they, Pepper? Where are they? Look over here. Look over here. Pepper, you can see it, honey. This one's exposed. Over here. Over here. Look. Down. You gotta look down. <laughs> look, right there. <laughs> what about under here? Hey, come here. Look right here. Look, under. Okay, so this is me just finding all the treats that I hid for him. Maybe it just takes him some time to understand what's happening. To be fair, he was fresh off of a nap, so maybe he's just a little tired. Brody wants to be involved so badly. He also loves the chicken and his brother. I should have counted how many pieces of chicken I put in there so I never get it all. Where are they? You found it. You found that one. Where are they? You gotta get that sniffer working. Not your sniffer. No, sir. Down. I know you have a good sniffer. Little hound dog. Where are they, Pepper? Listen, this is supposed to be fun for you, Pepper. Oh yeah, there's one in there. Where is it? You're so close. It's in between there. You're so close, Pepper. Oh, he left it. Pepper, you're all on them. Can you just not smell them? Like, what's the deal? Do I need to get a more scented treat? I feel like these are pretty scented. Look, you were so close. Look, come back to this. Come back over here. You found it! Yay, Pepper, yay! Good job, Pepper. Keep looking. Oh, you found another one. I mean, I forced you into that one, but. Oh, you found one, yay! Good job, Pepper. Hey, there's one over here, find it. Oh, you know, oh, where is it? Yay! Good job, Pepper! Oh, you can do it. Good job, Ratty! Guess I didn't put one in that one. Was that a second one? He's right on it, but he can't figure out to get in the flaps yet. So Pepper is still learning how to use his treat hider, but he is definitely learning. Um, he did a lot better right there at the end and 
figured out that he can keep just looking for food. So we'll definitely get a lot more use out of this. I might use it for my dogs too. Brody's been extremely interested in it because he is very food motivated and he loves chicken jerky. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me while I made this whole treat hider and I will catch y'all next time. Peace out.